Welcome to the digital age. Our lives are more connected than ever, from online shopping and banking to social media and streaming. It's incredibly convenient, but with all this convenience comes a new set of challenges, cybersecurity. Think of cybersecurity as your digital shield. It's all about protecting your information, your devices, and your privacy from online threats. And the good news? You don't need to be a tech wizard to be safe online. A few simple habits can make a huge difference. Let's start with your first and most crucial line of defense, passwords. Many of us reuse simple passwords or choose ones that are easy to guess, but a weak password is like leaving your front door unlocked. So what makes a strong password? Aim for at least 12 to 16 characters. Mix uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Think of a memorable phrase, a memorable number, like a year, and turn it into an acronym. For example, I love coffee and donuts every morning, 1999, to log into your Gmail account becomes ICAD at Gmail 1999. Or for your bank, you can use ICAD at Chase 1999. And just like that, you have a password method. Next, password hygiene. Just like you wouldn't use the same physical key for your house, car, and office, you shouldn't reuse the same password for all your online accounts. If one account is compromised, all your others could be too. This is where password managers or vaults become your best friend. Tools like LastPass, 1Password, or Bitwarden securely store all your unique complex passwords behind one master password. You only need to remember one, and they can even generate strong ones for you. It's a game changer for online security. Even with strong, unique passwords, adding an extra layer of security is always a good idea. That's where multi-factor authentication, or MFA, comes in. Think of it as a second lock on your digital door. MFA usually involves something you know, your password, plus something you have, like your phone receiving a code, or something you are, like a fingerprint. It makes it much harder for someone to access your accounts, even if they somehow get your password. Enable it everywhere you can, especially for email and banking. Now let's talk about one of the most common and effective cyber threats, phishing. Phishing is when scammers try to trick you into revealing sensitive information like passwords or credit card numbers by pretending to be a trustworthy entity, such as your bank, a well-known company, or even a friend. They'll often create fake websites or send emails that look incredibly real. How do you spot them? Look for generic readings, urgent language, strange sender email addresses, and grammatical errors. Always hover over links before clicking to see the true destination, and carefully check website addresses for misspellings or extra characters. This email claiming to be from Norton is a classic example. Here are the specific red flags that give it away. 1. Sender address. The email comes from a random Gmail address, not an official Norton domain. 2. Generic greeting. It says, Dear customer, not your real name, which a legitimate company would use for billing. 3. The logo. The logo is a low-quality fake. The weird spacing in N-O-R-T-O-N is a trick to bypass spam filters. 4. Poor grammar. The message uses an odd date format, strange capitalization, and awkward, unprofessional wording. 5. The phone number. The phone number has unusual spacing, another common tactic to avoid being blocked by spam filters. 6. Bonus. Fake urgency. The email threatens a large $499 charge to create panic and rush you into calling without thinking. Free public Wi-Fi at coffee shops or airports can be super convenient, but it's often not as secure as your home network. On unencrypted public Wi-Fi, it's possible for others on the same network to listen in on your internet traffic. Avoid doing sensitive activities like online banking or shopping when on public Wi-Fi. If you must, consider using a virtual private network, or VPN. 
A VPN encrypts your internet connection, creating a secure tunnel for your data even on public networks. Think of your software and operating system as a digital fortress. Software developers are constantly finding and fixing vulnerabilities, or holes that attackers could exploit. These fixes come in the form of updates. Always keep your operating system, web browsers, and all your applications updated. Enable automatic updates whenever possible. It's not just about getting new features, it's crucial for your security. Imagine losing all your precious photos, important documents, or years of work. It happens. Hard drives fail, devices get lost or stolen, and sometimes even malware can encrypt your files. That's why backing up your data is so important. Regularly back up your important files. You can use external hard drives or cloud services like Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. Have multiple copies and store at least one off-site. It's your digital safety net. So to recap your digital shield, use strong, unique passwords with a password manager, enable multi-factor authentication everywhere, be vigilant against phishing scams, be cautious on public Wi-Fi, keep all your software updated, and always back up your important data. Even if you do everything right, sometimes companies you interact with experience data breaches. This means your information, like email addresses or even passwords, could be exposed. This isn't your fault, but it's why password managers and MFA are so critical. Data breaches can lead to identity theft. Regularly check your bank and credit card statements for suspicious activity. Consider using a credit monitoring service and annually check your free credit report. Early detection is key. Cybersecurity might seem daunting, but by adopting these simple habits, you're building a powerful defense against online threats. You are in control of your digital safety. Every step you take makes the internet a safer place for you and everyone else. Stay curious, stay informed, and stay secure. Your digital life is worth protecting. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Share it with friends and family, and subscribe for more tips on navigating the digital world safely. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.